Hello. I was invited by the Wellcome Trust to apply for a public engagement grant. This was to support my voluntary work giving talks to groups and organisations and sharing my overseas findings as a Churchill Fellow on the health value of bacteriophages. These are viruses that destroy specific bacteria such as MRSA and E. coli. What follows is part of a reply to my application and afterwards I shall read to you some contrasting evidence from the Ministry of Defence. This is the third peer review form, the one that was not sent to me with the original two. The title of the project is Amazing Phage. Please comment on the feasibility of the project and the quality of the project management. Poor. The project is fundamentally flawed because it seeks to promote the use of bacteriophage for treatment of medically important bacterial infections. Such use is not justified by supporting evidence. Bacteriophages have been known for almost a century to lyse specific host bacteria, but have not been used clinically outside a few trials in Eastern Europe for treatment of bacterial infections. Why not? The answer is not because there is ignorance about them, but because they have not delivered medical benefit. In contrast, antibiotics have made a dramatic impact on global health. Nowhere does this application provide a balanced view of the relative utility and demonstrated benefit of phage versus antibiotics, nor indicate that such balance would be presented to target audiences. It doesn't explain how bacteriophages would be administered for internal infections, such as septicemia, or why the host wouldn't mount an immune response against them to neutralise them and prevent their repeated administration. The claim that the River Ganges is revered for its cholera destroying activity and action against dysentery is naive and dangerous. That river is characterised by the presence of high concentrations of virtually every bacterial pathogen that is transmitted by a faecal oral route. No one in their right minds would consider giving such contaminated water to patients. The only reason that bacteriophage for vibrio cholera and dysentery are present in that water is it contains high concentration of the dangerous bacterial pathogens in which these phage grow. If there were no host bacteria present, there would be no phage. Bacteria phage that are specific for a wide range of pathogenic enterobacteria can be obtained from material from any sewage works in the United Kingdom. Should such material also be revered for its medicinal value? The applicant does not display sufficient knowledge to give a balanced view in the proposed presentations. My recommendation is that this application should be rejected. Please comment on the potential to address social, ethical and or cultural issues surrounding biomedical science. Poor. The proposal has little social, ethical or cultural impact. Please comment on the relevance and suitability of the activity on the target audience. Poor. The target audience should be pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies and biomedical scientists and doctors. If these audiences were targeted and provided with hard evidence that phage work in a clinical setting, there would be a chance that the presentations would have impact, but such evidence is lacking. Please comment on the impact of the activity on the target audience. Poor. The best measure of the impact of this activity would be an increase in use of phage in medicine to treat bacterial infections. This is extremely unlikely. What is needed to promote greater use of bacteriophage in medicine is solid evidence that phage work and deliver clinical benefit. If they do work and have benefit, such data should be published in international journals with proper peer review. If the data are compelling, the reagents will be used. Please comment on the dissemination plans to wider publics. Poor. Wider dissemination should be via publication in peer-reviewed scientific journals and by speaking at national and international scientific conferences. 
In this way, data addressing potential use of phage therapy can be disseminated widely and debated in an open manner by those who might promote it. Please comment on the impact of the activity on the field of public engagement with science. Poor. As mentioned above, the proposal lacks balance and as presented may give a falsely positive view of the proposed use of bacteriophage for treating bacterial infections. Please comment on the dissemination plans to peers. Poor. Comments. See above. Please comment on the originality of the project. Poor. Phages have been described for almost a hundred years. Please comment on the educational value. Poor. There may be some educational value in teaching people that there are viruses that infect and lies bacteria, but as presented, I suspect that the potential of these viruses for treating clinically important bacterial infections will be overstated. Please comment on the quality of the background information. Poor. Incomplete and unbalanced. No proper explanation of why these viruses have not been used. If they were so useful, they would have been used. Please comment on the quality of the scientific content. Poor. No, this application does a very poor presentation of the science. See above comments. The real value of bacteriophages has been as scientific tools. For instance, as tools to, one, understand molecular biology, consider the Hershey Chase experiment showing that the DNA of bacteriophage was the genetic material. Two, for dissecting how the information encoded within DNA was copied into RNA and decoded into protein. Three, as cloning and expression vectors for making large libraries of DNA fragments for DNA sequencing projects. And four, in phage display, to identify antibodies that recognise large libraries of specific epitopes. Nothing about this appears in the document. I would have expected that this material would have been included auto automatically under the title Amazing Phage. Please comment on the justification and appropriateness of the budget. Poor. Please comment on the value for money. Poor. Please comment on the quality of the evaluation plans. Average. Please summarise your overall opinion of the application and if you wish, provide any specific feedback you would like to provide to the applicant. No comment. Please provide an overall grading of the application. Poor. The Ministry of Defence have kindly provided the provisional list of chapters for the Eliava Bacteriophage Report, which is a G8 Priority Global Partnership project. There's an introduction and then there are 18 chapters as follows. Animal Studies Phage Therapy in Dermatology Phage Therapy in Surgery Phage Therapy for Treatment of Intestinal Diseases Phage Therapy in Urology Phage Therapy in Ophthalmology Phages and vaccines. Phages and antibiotics. Immune response. Phage prophylaxis of intestinal diseases. Intravenous bacteriophage. Phages in veterinary. Phages in plant protection. Phages in environmental studies. Phages against bioterrorism, manufacturing, glossary and references. <laughs>